Hey everybody, Rich Uzelak here. Today uh, is going to be the first fitness video I do uh, in the backyard here. And today we're going to do a basic shoulder workout with light dumbbells. Okay, I'm going to start out with uh, a couple eight pounders, really small weights to warm up. Okay, the most difficult um, exercises, um, today I'm going to start with the most difficult one, so we're going to start with rear delt. So you bend forward, bend your knees slightly, bend at the hips, bend at the back, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I'm gonna stop at 15. Uh, typically, if I'm on a, on a light basic day, I'll do 20 reps. Uh, it's just to really get a good burn in, especially on the, the weaker rear delts and also the uh, side delts, which are kind of weak. So I'm just gonna do, I think I'll do 10 to kind of move this along, but typically I would do between 10 and 20, okay? Side raises. I don't like to let the leg, the arms go all the way down to the hips without tension. I keep tension on the whole time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Also, I will typically do three sets of each, but I'm going to just do one of each move the video along so again you can do between 10 and 20 reps for each exercise and um, start with the weaker parts so that was my lateral my rear first and then lateral delt and now I'm gonna do front delts two again keep tension the whole time four five put a little break in your knees six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, in these movements, your hand position, where should it be? Should you be completely horizontal, parallel with the ground with the weights, or should you be completely up? My answer to that is whatever your body tells you is comfortable for you. Um, the old idea of no pain, no gain is out the window, it's completely incorrect. You don't want to hurt yourself, trust me, especially if you're over 60 like me. Injuries take a lot longer to come back from. So do what's comfortable for you, and also you have to enjoy it. Here comes some philosophy of working out. If you don't like it, unless you're some strange masochist, you're gonna quit, okay? So do things that make you feel good when you go in the gym or you work out at home like I'm doing today. I typically work out in the gym, but I do, I'm lucky enough to have a little area here I can work out at, in the uh, patio of the backyard, so it's really nice. And my dog's here, and I didn't want to leave her. <laughs> okay, so next exercise, so we did rear delts, bending rear delts. We did side lateral, so the, the bending rear delt, right? And don't keep your arms, don't lock your arms out, or don't bring them forward and then push them out. Just keep them slightly bent. Like it's locked in that slightly bent position the whole time. Okay. And then we did uh, side laterals right here. Again, break your knees just a little bit. Just put a little break in your knee. Protect your lower back. Okay. All right. And then we're going to do fronts. Uh, when I go heavier, I'll probably do them alternatingly. But right now, I'm not going to alternate. I'm just going to go two at once. And my safe position is about a 45 degree angle kind of halfway between flat and vertical. Five, six, seven, my dog, eight, nine, ten. All right, and I can feel a little burn from that. These are eight pounds, right guys? So uh, shoulders are very complex. There's three heads, the posterior, the medial, and the anterior. So that's six different muscles. Two arms and um, 
the joint is supported a lot by muscle and tissue, not by um, a really tough socket like the hip. So you want to be careful with your shoulders. Uh, when you get older, shoulder injury can really debilitate you and put you out of whack for at least a month. So again, for over 60, be really careful. I'd say any age, be careful what you're doing here. Okay, so the final exercise uh, in the gym, I usually use a machine. I go very heavy with the final exercise. I'm gonna just use the eights right now, just so you can see what the movement is. So again, keep a little break in your legs. Don't be standing straight up tall. That puts a lot of stress on your lower back, on your knees, everything. Okay, so it's a little bit of crack in there so that of your knees so that you can uh, bounce. You know, it's like a little spring action. Bring the weights up, elbows, upper arms horizontal with the ground. Just push them up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four exercises. If I have the energy, I'm in the mood. Um, I did some martial arts in my life and I like uppercuts. So I feel like uh, when I was training in martial arts, uh, just practicing this movement, forward and a little bit across, obviously ties in your posterior and your medial delt and then doing it alternately is really great for your trunk and your core because you have to stabilize for this. And you're kind of like sort of doing a, kind of like an uppercut, almost like a razor reddick punch, that upper punch you used to destroy people with. Okay, and that is my first workout um, Richard Uselak here. Um, if you visit one of my websites, it's called <laughs> finallystanding.com. Um, it's got some uh, nutrition ideas in there. It's not a real big, it's just a little blog. Not very fancy, not very built out. I'll work on it. But there's some stuff in there you might want to see, and I'll, I'll put that in the comment section. All right, um, stay positive. If you just go to the gym, guys, and gals, you win. Just walk in the gym, sit on a recumbent bike, and just pedal a little bit. That's a win. Uh, it's the day you don't go to the gym, you lose, right? So don't push yourself too hard, enjoy the journey. Uh, over 60, the journey takes quite a bit longer to ramp up, but enjoy it, all right? Thank you. Thanks for showing up, bye.